Solidime. So a little background. Uh, Intel used to be in the NAND business. And by the way, they actually started off as a memory company years and years and years ago before they went to uh, a compute. So um, in what Intel calls simplification, they started jettisoning uh, certain businesses off. And uh, they they spun off their memory business. Uh, SK Hynix uh, bought it, and SK Hynix uh, rebranded it as Solidime. And Solidime is focused on data center NAND. They don't do consumer stuff. They don't do smartphones. They don't do PCs. It's, it's all about that. So, Dan, uh, talk a little bit about the visit that you and I had uh, with your leadership team. Yeah, so we got to spend some time with David Dixon. He's their co-CEO. You know, they have the... Uh, it's somewhat typical when you have a, a, an Asian, uh, you know, uh, parent company that they have a co-CEO, one based in, in Korea, one based here in the U.S. Um, you know, they they are basically finding themselves in this really uh, interesting moment now. Memory is hot. Uh, SSD is a very interesting, has a really unique economic. Moment. And, and we'll spend a lot of time talking about that. You know, hard drive, of course, is, is cheap. It's being done at scale, but we've got this issue right now with power, with rack space, uh, with a, a capacity. You know, 15 kilowatt racks are going to be harder and harder to come by. I shared a tweet last night where they talk about all the data centers being in Northern Virginia. The only problem with Northern Virginia is there's almost no power left to build more data centers. And three percent, three percent power left for everybody. So they've got very little power left, and so we spend a lot of time focusing on the footprint, the footprint, the ability, of, and the 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 smaller number of GPUs required and the amount of memory accessible and the fact that there is an economic case for SSD right now and Solidon seems to be on a good trajectory, Pat. This was a first time overview for the both of us since the spinoff of, because this was the spinoff of the Intel NAND business. Um, and uh, I think what we came away with is that there is, an, there is an interesting total economic validation that needs to be done to look at hard disk versus uh, solid state. And that directionally, uh, Solidarm could be in a very good position for growth based on what's going on with AI. I mean, it, and by the way, they are focused only on data center. This is not a, you know, they are not focused on, you know, personal and handset devices and PCs and tablets. They are focused on data center infrastructure. And I think right now that could be a really good place to be. Yeah, you know, um, by the way, I, I made a mistake on the 3%. It's actually 0.2% power left on the grid uh, in, in Virginia. And, Very. you know, some people are, are going to be a, okay, scale versus specialty. What do you get out of specialty? Well, what Solidon does is they do custom firmware for AWS, for Google Cloud, for um, all of their hyperscaler data customers. And what, what that gets you is different performance profiles, different power profiles uh, via, via, via firmware. And it it seems to be working for the company. They're going to ride the they're going to ride the demand curve and the profit curve. We probably don't didn't want to see their financials last year, um, but yeah, um, it, C it, Micron. It, no, no, exactly. <laughs> well, see, see, yeah, C Micron and C Samsung. Samsung doesn't break out memory, but you can pretty much tell when the memory market hits the skids. They are they are in no man's land. And pretty much everybody was negative gross margin. And then, you know, as we mapped this out, it was, okay, uh, maybe making a point on gross margin, negative operating income as a, as a percent, and then it's freaking boom time, right? Uh, the skyrocket, we saw Micron just boom, and that was all on, on H, uh, uh, HBM. But anyways, looking forward to tracking these uh, folks in the future.